It is one of my most favorite brands on QVC. And this is their round Dutch oven. Now, I'm looking for a card. Here we go. Now, what we're talking about, ordinarily priced at retail at $440. This beautiful vessel, seven and a quarter quarts, is available tonight at $329. It's also on five easy payments, and your shipping and rehand handling is reduced. Now, what I'm doing inside this great big container, this vessel, is I'm browning off beef short ribs because is there anything more perfect? Then beef short ribs. And you want to be able to get these nice and caramelized because then it creates that beautiful flavor on the bottom. And look at how evenly and nicely they're browned and how beautifully they're going to add to this dish. Really lovely. I'm looking around for my stock and I don't see it. Am I supposed to have stock? Oh, we're just using the red wine. Okay, fine. So, what we're going to do is add in our red wine, and as we do that, we're going to remind you that we have color choices. So I'm going to pop in some red wine here to begin to deglaze the bottom of this dish. And as that does its job, let me take you over and show you color choices because we've got some beautiful color choices, and we'll bring in our special guest. Comes in the iconic flame-colored box from Le Creuset, made in the same foundry in France since 1925. Cerise is the French word for cherry, and that is our first color choice, and will probably be our most popular in the hour, so I would not wait too long on the cerise. I also have it in flame, the very first color ever at Le Creuset. Then we have it up top in cool mint, a color you only find on QVC. This is an exclusive color to QVC, so we're thrilled about that. Has the stainless steel knob as well. Then I have it for you in oyster, and finally we have it for you named after the southern port city of France. This is Marseille. Beautifully done in that gorgeous gradient color of blue, oyster, cool mint, flame, or cerise. All this comes together for you at a great price. Q card special financing, nine months, and you will have nine payments of $36.56. Let's bring in Chef Nate Collier, who is our buddy from Le Creuset, who's going to talk to us about this vessel and why it's such a must have in our kitchens. Chef Nate, it's great to have you back. Welcome. David, it's so great to be here. And I love this you know i love liquor say you know i love cast iron and this is about as iconic as it gets david a large round enameled cast iron dutch oven this is what put liquor say on the map and i love this because david the seven and a half uh seven and a quarter horse um size is big enough to do something like a full chuck roast this is almost five pounds of beef right here so very big capacity you don't always have to fill it up to the brim but when you do fill it up to the brim i love having that extra space wide bottom to sear this full chuck roast so a little bit wider than our best-selling five and a half quart size um but again easy to manage i'm gonna you know it's still summer david even though we're making a nice big pot roast here so i'm gonna braise this with a little rose wine instead of the typical red wine that we would do and you see the cast iron gave us this beautiful sear on top all of that flavor and then the sand colored enamel on the bottom that's what releases everything off that's going to give you the rich, delicious, delicious, not only uh, tasty stock, but it's going to have that beautiful, rich mouthfeel, too. I'm going to cover it with a little chicken stock. And again, I know you're saying beef with chicken stock, but again, it's still summer. So you can lighten this up a little bit. Carrots, shallots, a little bit of rosemary and garlic in there, too. I had some tomato paste in the bottom. So this, once we've developed that flavor with the sear and the glaze, David, the next secret is locking in the moisture. So the cast irons are going to heat from all over, up the sides, and also on the lid. The lid is cast iron. You can see France right there, same foundry since 1925 in France. But this rim is going to lock in all of that moisture, all of that heat, and that is what's going to give you the beautiful fall apart tender texture. So we're building flavor with the heat retention and the enamel, and that cast iron in the lid lock is going to give you the beautiful texture. Easy versatility. I'm going to pop this in the oven, and then you can bring it right to the table to serve, David. But I'm going to bring this in the oven, then we're going to see what it looks like when it comes out. So tender and delicious. Well, while you're doing that, Chef Nate, I'm going to reach into my oven because I have some short ribs that are ready to come out. Because I just built some on top of the stove, and then we've got some here in the oven that are finished. And we can, through the magic of TV, show you a little before and after. So follow me over here. And let's make our way over and talk to you about this beautiful vessel, round and gorgeous and amply sized. Chef makes a great point that you can either fill it a little bit or a lot. And inside, we've got beautiful braised beef short ribs, gorgeous short ribs, red wine, a Cabernet, 
Then there's fresh rosemary, garlic, onions, carrots, figs inside, beautiful. But we wouldn't just serve that by itself, chef. Why don't we make some cheesy Parmesan and pea risotto as a bed for that, for that beautiful short rib, right? So we'll come right over here and we're going to serve out, this is nearly eight quarts of risotto. My question is, what are the rest of you going to eat? My gracious. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful. We'll make a nice bed of risotto and then start spooning out these short ribs. Chef, it won't be long at all before we start to enjoy all this beautiful fall cooking and fall weather. This is going to be the time that you want those braised beef, uh, braised beef short ribs to go right along with all this risotto and all the other goodies that you're making, right? It really is, David. And I love that because you can take this in so many different directions. The risotto is nice and light. You still got some light flavors in there. The short ribs are going to stick to your ribs, literally short ribs Oof. sticking to your ribs. And I love how you didn't fill it all the way up with the risotto. You took advantage of the extra space, David, for stirring and not spilling. Cast iron is great for cooking grains, but risotto, you want to stir it. And it just makes it easier when you have that extra space and you don't have to worry about it popping off over the sides or out of it. So seven and a half quarts. I'm going to show you some chili here, full to the brim later, but you don't always have to fill it. The space actually provides other advantages. And we've got figs inside and onion and garlic and carrots. This is just beautiful. And that meat is falling off the bone. This is like pot roast extraordinaire, right? It is. It is, David. And it's so funny you said that because I've got a pot roast here, this beautiful chuck roast. And my girls, six and eight, they started school today, literally said to me, what does pot roast taste like, Daddy? They had never had it before. And I almost dropped my jaw on the floor. But this is what it tastes like. Look at that beautiful, full and shredded apart chuck roast in there. The carrots and the peas, I added a little bit later, David, so they're going to retain their texture to it. But beautiful fall apart meat and all of that lovely sauce in the bottom uh -huh. dripping off. And David, look at this. That's just going to wipe off. I'm going to use a little meat <laughs> to wipe the sides of this to show you how it's clean because I don't have a paper towel in my hand. That's the enamel coming clean just with the food that's left in it, David. Imagine what you can do with soap and a sponge. And look what we did here. Drop biscuits, chicken and dumplings, or drop dumplings, Yum. rather. And you're down in Charleston, South Carolina. I would imagine you had your fair share of delicious chicken oh, and yeah. dumplings down in Charleston. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. This is so, And that velvety, delicious filling and chicken and mmm. Now, you want to you wanna dress up, make it a little fancy, put a little parsley on top. There you go. Why? That's because right. presentation is very important. Let's talk to you about color choices and remind you that this would be 400 I believe, $40 at retail. Is that right? We are at 329 tonight, and it really is a remarkable buy. This is a piece that you're going to pass down to new generations of cooks in your family. This piece is going to last longer than we will. That's what's so beautiful about Le Creuset. This is cerise, which is the French word for cherry. If you want flame, it's our most limited with fewer than 600. Up top is cool mint. A 950, this color is exclusive to QVC. Here it is an oyster. And finally, our most popular choice tonight is Marseille, named after the southern port city of France. Comes in the iconic flame-colored Le Creuset box and shipped directly to your door. Think ahead to holiday gift-giving, weddings that are happening this fall. Whatever the case may be, this is the perfect choice. Chef, I've got risotto, braised beef short ribs, chicken and dumplings. How do you feel about, about a, little, a little over seven quarts of mac and cheese? I feel pretty good about it. I love seven quarts of mac and cheese, and I love it more in cast iron because it's going to taste good, it's going to stay hot, and it's going to clean up easy. And then a little later when we go live to Corky's in Memphis, Tennessee, Ooh. pork belly burnt ends. Love it. You like bacon and barbecue and smoky goodness? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not even kidding. What you do you can call that, David? Divine swine? Divine swine extraordinaire is what that is. Oh, my <laughs> gracious. Don't miss out on this. This is that classic vessel that you're going to have for a generation. And then another generation of cooks is going to come along and they're going to enjoy it. I mean, you should put this in your will and will it to someone that can use it after you're gone because it's going to last that long. This is extraordinary. It comes to us from a company that is just a few years away from their centennial celebration, 100 years in business. This is a company that began in France in 1925 
We are almost to 2023. There are only a couple years left until they reach their 100th birthday. This is so exciting. Don't miss out on these. And this is the kind of piece, Chef, that you leave out on your stovetop. Even when, you're, when it's empty and cold, you leave it out like a badge of honor, don't you? You do, David. We call that kitchen jewelry, countertop jewelry. You're going to use it so much that you don't want to take it in and out of the cabinet uh, anyway, but it looks so good. And you're going to use it so much because you can do so many things with it and replace other appliances or not reach for them. I'm deep frying some beautiful chicken wings here. You know, it's game time coming up. These are some of my favorite things. I'm a sucker for crunchy, salty things. I'm going to let these keep frying. Cast iron, David, is so good because it maintains your oil temperature. So no soggy food. And you can see how wide the surface area is for room, but also it's deep enough for no splatter. Beautiful chicken wings, golden brown delicious. I did some French fries earlier, David, some waffle fries. Ooh. I'll show you how much chili this makes a little bit later, but how about right on top of the French fries, a little bit of chili fries, David? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Seven and a half quarts. You can some see cheese, this behind chef. me. I don't Get know. Get some cheese up on there, too. Some cheese if oh. you have it. A oh. little bit of cheese coming in this way, David. Oh. And behind me, this is how much chili's in there, David. Seven and a half quarts. Look at all these deli containers full of that beautiful chili you want to batch cook you've got cheese. room to do it deep fry casserole it's so lovely yeah cheese chili waffle fries hello how you doing i know i'm doing pretty well just hearing about it um hey this is very popular tonight and we have a great savings for you 440 is what you'd pay at retail we're at 329 tonight with reduced shipping and handling don't miss out on this opportunity, a super exciting opportunity for you to pick this up. Chef Nate Collier, great to see you again, my friend, and wish the girls a great year in school, okay? David, I will. So fun. Glad to see you. Thanks, buddy. All right, Julia's got an update for you. I do. I have a one-time only coming.